At the end of Parsha Shmois, Hashem sent Moshe to tell Pare to let the Jewish people out of Egypt. And not only his mission was seemingly wasn't successful, but things got even worse. And Moshe goes and complains to Hashem, why is this taking place? Why did you send me on a mission to take the Jewish people out of Egypt? And he expected that things should start getting better, and instead things start getting worse. And the opening of this week's Pasha, Pasha Svaeda, the Epeshe speaks to him, and then the Pasha Shmoy, meaning of Pasha Svaeda as well. The Epeshe, so to say, reprimands Moshe for questioning his ways and so on and so forth, and many different interpretations of what's going on. But one of the, uh, the basic points that is explained in a number of Svarim is that Moshe Rabbeinu was sent on a mission, and he didn't understand what was happening. He thought that the mission that he's being sent on signaled the now the beginning of the Jewish people's exodus is taking place. That's he was clearly under that impression. Right? That's why he was being sent. So how is it possible that things get worse? Something must be going wrong over here. Most importantly, what was bothering him was that he seemed to be at fault. It was because he was sent that things got worse. And basically, with Abish is answering him, obviously there's many different interpretations. In a very basic level, Abish is answering him, as our sages point out, that you can't question the ways of Hashem, a mortal can't understand the ways of Hashem. A deeper explanation, as Chassidus explains, that Hashem is explaining to him the idea that right before things get better, things get worse. The idea of before one revelation takes place, a complete withdrawal of the previous revelation takes place, when a new thing comes into the world, there's a disappearance of the previous state, and so on and so forth. But this question is very timely in our generation in general, our times in particular, because when we look at the world, we don't seem to be able to make sense of what's going on. On one hand, there's, we're holding right before Mashiach comes, according to all the signs our sages told us, we see everything being materialized in front of our eyes, and in a certain sense, there's a lot of good in the world that never existed before. One example is the teachings of Torah, the deeper meaning of Torah, and not only the, the revelations of the secrets of Torah, but even on a very simple level, many today Torah is available, many manuscripts that have been printed that people didn't have access to for, for centuries, there's a very great revelation of Torah, very, very easy access to Torah. There's other and other areas, as many great things taking place. And from one hand, this shows us that we're getting closer to the redemption. Simultaneously, there's things happening in the world, which seem to be showing that things are going the opposite, exact opposite direction. Things are getting even worse. And the question is, what's going on over here? If a person, if we see that we're holding by the times. Right before Mashiach comes, shouldn't we expect that things should just be beautiful and, and gorgeous and things should just get better physically and spiritually? And instead, there's ups, there's downs. Things, ups that seem to be very great, and at the same time, downs that seem to be very great. And obviously, there's many interpretations of what, this, what the reason, the underlying reason for this, for this phenomena is. But uh, the, the bottom line is, as Rebbe would always say, Hamaisa The main thing is, what should we do about it? And this is what Abisha is telling Moshe. Abisha is telling Moshe, Moshe Rabbeinu sees what's going on, how darkness is prevailing, how spiritual darkness is prevailing, and he want, And Abisha is telling him, if you want to get from here to a state of redemption, this is what you have to do. Abisha tells him, I appear to Avra Mitzvah Pinyakiv. So this explains Avra Mitzvah Pinyakiv represent the different emotional attributes that every Jew has, that every Jew inherited. Avram is a level of love, Yitzchak is a level of fear, Yaakov is a level of mercy, and Abisha is telling him that exile is a state of concealment, a person's natural emotions, a person's soulful emotions, a person's inner makeup of his inner connection to Hashem is, is concealed. A person is doing his state of mitzvahs, he's serving Hashem, he's doing what's right out of habit. He's not doing what's right out of true, genuine emotional connection and inspiration. And when we and the person could say, why is this going on? Aren't we we're closer to Mashiach? Shouldn't we be experiencing godliness? And Abisha says, we're still at a state of godless, we're still in a state of concealment, but a person's 
Service has to be va'eda. He has to reveal godliness. He has to bring out the level of Ram Yitzchak and Yaakov. A person who sees that there's the great darkness, so first of all, he has to do something about it. Bring out your innermost emotional qualities. If you see that there's darkness, you have to, you have to spread light. You have to wake yourself up and wake up other people around you. Second of all, on a deeper note, the message also is when you see darkness around you, don't the, the, the goal is not only to ignore the darkness, but you should be inspired by the darkness itself. When you see that there's opposition, when, when darkness is trying to oppose holiness, that should inspire you all the more to, to, to spread holiness. A Rebbe writes in Tani, if a person is davening, and someone comes, a wicked person comes, and tries to disturb him from davening. So how should he overcome this disturbance? That he should realize that this person, the Ebeshter created this person, and Abishad is giving this person the, 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 the ability to disturb him. The only, pur- reason, the only purpose here is in order to bring up by the person that he should dive in with even, de- even deeper concentration. So by focusing on the fact that there's opposition and what the purpose of the opposition is, that itself brings out within the person the inner capabilities to wake up and do something about it. So when a person is in the state, he looks at the world and he says, Lama Hariyosa, why are things going, getting worse? So obviously we have to daven, we have to demand Mashiach. At the same time, there has to be Va'edal Avraham Sok Yaakov. A person has, has the avoid of trying to wake up, putting in his efforts to try to get out of a state of inner exile and bring out and spread light in the world. And we should merit have the coming of Mashiach, take it from the Admam, speedily in our days.